Good morning, friends, and welcome to Take Two for this Monday, the 27th of August, 2018. It's the last week of the month. You know, Friday is already the last day of the month. My goodness. Then we got a holiday weekend coming up. So I hope that this week is going to be a super duper great week for you. Well, I am Jeannie, and I've been thinking this morning about stars. I was sitting in my living room this morning, uh, just, you know, starting my day, and uh, sitting and talking with Michael and drinking coffee, and I looked over at the fireplace, and I saw we have this little starfish on display there. Now, we got this many years ago, and uh, it's just, I thought to myself, this this is actually star shaped. And then I started looking around my house and started thinking about all the things in my house related to stars. You think about it in a daily basis, how many times you either say the word star or have something that's shaped like a star that you will hold in your hand or maybe watch a TV show with the word star in the title or a movie or you hear a song that has the word star. Look at this. I pulled up some star songs this morning. Listen to this. Shining Star, Wishing on a Star, The Star Wars Theme, Highway Star, So You Are a Star, Paint the Sky with Star, Superstar, Good Morning Star, Shine a Thousand Stars, Look for a Star, Little Star, Star Dust, Flaming Star, You Don't Have to Be a Star, Shooting Star, and Catch a falling star. My goodness, think about how many times you say the word star in your lifetime. What is the first poem you learned maybe back in kindergarten or maybe even your children in preschool? Think about it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder where you are. Think about that, my goodness. Stars are everywhere, With the, everywhere. I, I went into the cupboard this morning to get out stuff for lunch and I found star-kissed tuna. <laughs> There's a star right there. I was taking a pin off of a, off of a, a, a jacket and it's Old Glory, okay? Old Glory, and that is, of course, uh, stars and stripes, okay? All right. I have somebody here telling me they're having trouble with their audio. If you're also having trouble with your audio, let me know, okay? And I'll know whether it's uh, Joanne's problem or if it's my problem. Okay, back to stars, okay? How about uh, awards that you might get? Like Michael has gotten many awards, and this is sitting in his man cave. An award he got some years ago, and it has stars on it, okay? Think about movies that have the word star. Star Wars of Star Trek movies. How about a star is born? Stars are everywhere. Or, or think about all the things in the course of a day that, that you say, sayings that you might say, you know, like, oh my goodness, I got hit in the head and I saw stars. <laughs> or how about if you want to one day become a big famous celebrity, you say, one day I'm going to be a star. Well, I know that when I was a younger person, I wanted very much to go to Broadway or be in the movies, and and I wanted to uh, be a star. I even changed my name for a while when I was in community theater. Okay, true confessions. Instead of Jeannie Pereno, I was Jeanne La Star. <laughs> And I would wear stars all the time. And I'll tell you another thing that really perpetuated this this morning. Thank you, Arlene. You noticed my necklace. This is a necklace full of stars. This was my mom's. I gave it to her. And now that we've cleaned out her belongings, I thought it was nice to be able to take it back so that I could think about her every time I put it on. So stars, stars, stars. The most important thing I have for to ask you this morning is, is there somebody who is a star in your life and you just never got around to telling them how much of a star they are? That's why I encourage you, be a blessing to somebody today. You know, you might end up being the only one who is, you may end up being the only one who says, you know what, you're a star to me. 
You just shine like a star. And I just want to thank you for being a star in my life. Now, I am not, I'm going to bring some balance now, boys and girls. I am not talking about idolizing somebody who you don't even know, maybe a celebrity or something. There's nothing wrong with appreciating the great art of a celebrity who can sing, who can who can act or anything like that, or, or is just somebody, <coughs> excuse me, that you admire as a star. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you idolize something or somebody, that's where it goes over the top. I'm talking about letting somebody know that you love them and that they're a shining star in your life. So not only do I want you to go out and make sure that you be a blessing that way, but you make sure that you are a shining star in somebody else's life. Go shine for somebody today, okay? They may not give you an award, but I know that their hearts will be full if you could be a blessing to them. Okay, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's a way you could be a star in my life. Go to J-E-A-N-N-E-S-I-G-L-E-R, click that subscribe button, and you'll be a star in my eyes. Well, you'll be a star whether you subscribe or not, but I hope that you do. And please, another way you could be a star in my life today is by tuning in to WRMZ.org. Click that listen button. And if you really want to shine today, click that donate button, and you could help keep Ram FM on the air so that we could be stars to everybody who tunes in and everybody who listens. Okay, Mwah. I love you. Have a great week. This is going to be a superb week. It's going to be a shining star of a week, okay? I love you. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.